This is our first time ever, ever, ever eating deep dish pizza right here in Chicago. And the truth is, we're New Yorkers. New Yorkers. We like pizza that's thin. Brooklyn. And large. So what's the first place we're going to? Labriolas. I'm gonna check it out. I love the scaffolding. It reminds me of Brooklyn, where I'm from. So I don't really know a lot about deep dish pizza, Jules. Yeah, I do. You do? I read about it on Wikipedia. The main ingredients to most deep dish pizzas here in Chicago is sausage, peppers, mushroom, and red sauce on top. It takes about 45 minutes for them to make these pizzas. Did you just say 45 minutes? Your boy ain't gonna be waiting 45 minutes for a pizza. Let's go. Like, I'm, I have trouble waiting two minutes for a pizza. Yeah. Those take 45 minutes, okay? You're not kidding. I wasn't kidding. No. Trust me, guys, you'll be very happy. You're popping our excited. deep dish cherry. Okay, got it. <laughs> got a super authentic feel, a lot of wine, a lot of space in this place. They got the Express Cafe, if you can't wait. And right next door is a donut shop. I want donuts. Look, Jules, they put a donut around a straw. Like, Boba Tea needs to take notes. Jules, look at this bread. Even the bread looks good. They're like little pillowcases of bread. We gotta get one of these pans. Guys, I think we hit a home run too soon, but we're gonna find out. So we are getting the Danny's Special, which is Russo sausage, mushroom, green peppers, and onion. I'm convinced this is as authentic as it gets. You eat a pizza if you want to eat a pizza. You do it with your hands, you do it with a fork and knife. Either way, it's going to the same place. My stomach. I'm going to stop talking like that, all right? I'm out from the Bronx. I'm from Rochester. I live in the suburbs. I play kickball. I live near a lake. I think I'm gonna have to fast forward this or something. That was a long ass bite. Oh, holy cow, this is good. I feel bad that you're not eating this when it's hot. You should have a bite and then we can talk about it. That is fantastic. Big chunks of tomato on it. Super saucy. The toppings is so hearty. I feel like I'm eating like a meal on top of my pizza. The dough is really good too. It's deep, but it's fluffy. That's one back end I wanna have over and over again. I mean, Chicago, you ain't letting me down. Like honestly, this is way different than New York. This is the gold standard right now. The crust literally is cheese. Give it a gold spink. It deserves it. It's not safe for work, folks. This is not safe for work. I can't give any negative remarks on this. Five, five, five on crust, sauce, and toppings. This might be the best deep dish pizza we have today. I'm gonna say crust is a five, sauce is a five, toppings are a five. It's my gold standard right now. Better ingredients, better pizza, labriolas. Let's go to the next spot. I'm getting nervous that any other place that we go, it just might be a letdown. We started at the best. While we're traveling around the world for food, we're listening to audiobooks on Audible all about food. It gets us excited about planning our next trip. Audible has sponsored this video with their unmatched selection of audiobooks. We recommend My Life in France by Julia Child and Balzac's Omelette, a delicious tour of French food and culture. Where internationally do you want to see us go next? Heard the food was great in France. Listen to stories about travel and food this summer, just like us, and get your first audiobook for free. Just use our link, audible.com slash hjf, or text hjf to 500-500, and get a free book that's yours to keep forever. And if you become an Audible member, you get a credit every month, good for any audiobook, regardless of price. And unused credits roll over to the next month. Didn't like your audiobook? You can exchange it, no questions asked. That's audible.com slash HJF or text HJF to 500 500. Get a free audiobook and a 30 day trial. Now back to deep dish pizza and traveling around the world. Yes, Chicago, I love you. Guys, we made it to Art of Pizza. This is our second spot. Voted number one deep dish pizza. You see that? Let's go check it out. Julia, we gotta get more famous so like we can be like, oh, voted number one by healthy junk food. It's definitely more casual here. I like the atmosphere of Labriola's better. You gotta get B-roll of someone playing cards. What you got? I couldn't wait. I'm sorry. Got thin slice, you know, gotta compare it to New York. JP, this video is about deep dish pizza. Yeah, this is no, this video is about me eating pizza. <laughs> I'm like pizza flash. Dude, this actually feels like frozen pizza. 
Ew. Oh no, you don't like it? It kind of tastes like 7-Eleven pizza. It does look good though. Oh, it is greasy. You weren't kidding. Holy moly cannoli. We get it, Chicago. You have cheese pull. You want an, a medal for your cheese and your pull? Oh my goodness. <laughs> This is called stuffed pizza here, and I actually understand why just by looking at it. The toppings are all inside. Is this considered deep dish pizza still? Yes. Yeah, if you don't like mozzarella, you're gonna have a hard time eating this pizza. Definitely fresh ingredients stuffed inside. They don't seem to be caramelized or cooked down. I totally agree with Julia. These vegetables are like straight up al dente, which is okay if I wanted a salad. The red sauce is not as chunky on top, which is okay. I do like this a lot better. Crust, a little much, I'm gonna give it a three. The sauce, I'm gonna get it five. And the vegetables, I just want them to be cooked a little bit more, also four. It's gonna be a 12 out of 15. It's good though. If I had like a meat lovers, I'd probably be like all about this. So the crust, I'm gonna give like a two. The toppings, I'm gonna give like a two. And the sauce, I'll give that a five. Visually, 10 out of 10. It doesn't look like my shirt, and it doesn't taste like my shirt, because my shirt tastes like fabric, and you shouldn't eat that. Thank you for calling Pequot. How long is the wait if we ordered a deep dish pizza? About 45 minutes. Okay. Hi. Good. Uh, we ordered a pizza. We just made it to Pequod's, and I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly. Pequod? Pequod. Pequod. How are you peeing? This is definitely different than the last place we went to. I like the atmosphere here. Uh, it's darker lit. It's less cafeteria style. Wow, you sir deserve a raise. You know how to lift up a slice of pizza. This is crusty and lusty. This is what you come to Chicago for. That back burnt cheese crust. The vegetables on top look phenomenal. This sauce looks delicious. The sausage they have here, they make in-house, and you can't get that sausage anywhere else other than Pequod's itself. That's some good sausage. I'm gonna give the crust a four to five. I think labriola still kills it. Four to five on the toppings. And the sauce, five out of five. 13 out of 15, maybe, on this one. Oh yeah, you keep pulling that, baby. Cheese crust on the exterior. Yes, this is just good. The toppings are cooked well. It's messy, though. Toppings get a five. Crust is gonna get a four. The sauce is getting a four as well. The best part, for sure, is the sausage. We ate a lot of pizza today, and and uh, we're not done yet. We can hit up some places tomorrow and the next day. And I think a couple of the pizzerias that are famous are gonna be at the Taste of Chicago. Just hit the spot. All right, it's day two and we got more pizza here at the Taste of Chicago. This is one thing that you guys requested, Giordano's. We're gonna have to do a montage of all the cheese bowl. Good. The cheese and the sauce is on point. It's really well seasoned. And the crust was not made out of cheese, which is my biggest comparison. The crust, a four, because I really like the cheese style crust a little bit more. The toppings, five. You're getting a 14. I love pepperoni, I love the cheese. That tomato sauce looks on point. Four on the crust, five on the toppings, five on the sauce. Pepperoni made all the difference though. The crust is the only thing that puts this slightly behind Labriolas. Otherwise, I say this is my favorite one I've had so far. We'll have to try Giordano's again and make sure that they're top notch. We are doing a video all about deep dish pizza and we were told that Connie's Pizza has one of the best pizzas in Chicago. Yes. So we're here to try it. Come hither, my little flower withered friend. No. Creature of nature, my uh, Christopher Robin. I don't know if it's a deep dish or the fact that I haven't pooped in three days, but maybe it's because of all this cheese I've been eating. This is good. Is it better than Giordano's? More fluffier crust. It seems a little bit more fresh. And the sauce is also underneath the cheese. This one is so different than the other pies. I am just mentally getting confused. The dough, that's a five. It's so light and fluffy. The sauce is really good as well. I'm gonna give it a four. The cheese and the toppings, five. Connie's, you're getting a 14. I like it, girl. Mmm, everything's good about this. I even like the sauce on it. It's got like a nice sweetness to it. Six on the crust, six on the sauce. 
Five on the toppings. I'm giving this a 17. If I were to go back to any place that we went to, I would go back to Connie's. It's right there, Luminati's. Oh, this whole time I thought it was Illuminati's. Yeah, it's Luminati's. I feel so misled. Already, the sauce on there is looking robust. Very similar to the Giordano's. They don't have separate pieces of sausage on the pie. It's just like one big sausage piece. Every bite gets sausage on it. I kind of dig that idea. I really like the sauce, it's super sweet. Whole tomatoes on top, five on sauce. Crust, four. Now the toppings, I'm gonna give it a four slice. Luminati's, I like you, I would eat you again. I think you like it more than you think. I'm gonna give it another point on toppings. Same level as Connie, I love you, boo. Crust, I'm hitting you with a three. Not as fluffy as I like. I'm gonna give a four on the sauce, and the sausage is a meh. I'm gonna give a three on the toppings. I think that Giordano's is a little bit better than this. Well, taste of Chicago. Felt like I had a whole entire city inside my mouth. And boy, was it salty. It's day three, and guess what? We are not sick of pizza. <laughs> could this possibly be the best place? Yeah. It could. Graffiti? So many articles, everyone's like, I'm the best, number one, famous. Well, you guys are right up there, so we're excited to try it today. All right. It's Simon Cowell and Bieber and this guy. We got the no soup for you guy, Steve Urkel. Chris Pratt. Wow. wow. You remind me of Batman Forever. Okay, I'm lost now. How do I get back? I know this is a deep dish video pizza thing, whatever we're doing, but Italian beef, we gotta do it. It's part of Chicago. The classic Chicago style toppings. This is the last one. The crust is pretty thick. The peppers and onions are cut up. And it is really cheesy. You look like Cthulhu. I, I feel like it's like Groundhog Day. I feel like we've done this before. Crispy, crunchy on the bottom. The cheese kind of melts in like butter. And the toppings like a little blanket tucking you in at night. I'm gonna give the crust a five. The sauce, I really love. Five. Toppings, five. You're also getting a 15. I just think from toppings alone, I'm gonna love this. It's got Canadian bacon on it, regular bacon on it, bacon on it, pepperoni, and I think there's some sausage too. Gino's East, going west in my mouth. I gotta go in again. It could be biased because these toppings just slay on this pizza. Five on the crust, six on the toppings, five on the sauce. This pizza really put faith that I can still eat pizza every day and not get sick of it. I still think I like New York better, but this is darn good. Maybe we can try to find the best New York pizza. That's a good idea. Let us know in the comments what are the best New York style pizzerias and we'll head there in another video in the future. Coming to a screen near you. All right, we're going to New York now. Let's do it. And on the way back from New York, we should stop in Philadelphia and try all the cheesesteaks. 